We have new developments in the Alec Murdoch financial crimes case. Federal prosecutors want to take a plea deal off the table with him. They say Murdoch didn't tell the truth to FBI agents when they asked where the more than $6 million that he stole is and who helped him steal it. The claims were filed in court documents on Tuesday. Prosecutors want a judge to revoke their end of the plea deal and order a maximum sentence of more than 100 years in prison when Murdoch is sentenced. Now, the plea deal would have allowed Murdoch's federal sentence to run concurrent to the 27 years he was sentenced to by the state for stealing money from his clients and his law firm. Take a listen to his apology to the victims last November. I did terrible things. Each of you placed your trust in me. I was very proud of that. And I'm still today honored by that fact that I deceived each of you. Terrible. I did terrible things. I am so sorry and that I hate and am so bothered by the things that I did. My hopes that seeing me punished will help each of you heal. Now, Murdoch's attorneys have not responded to messages about the filing by federal prosecutors. Each of the 22 counts Murdoch pleaded guilty to in federal court carries a maximum of 20 years in prison. Prosecutors say they want the stiffest sentence possible. Murdoch will be sentenced next Monday. All right, let's bring in our guest for this hour. Joining me right now is criminal defense attorney Joe Tamborino. Joe, great to see you. Thank you so much for joining me here on the program. It's been a minute. Great to have you on the show. Um, let's begin right there with Alec Murdoch. First and foremost, I'm going to put this out there. I know what the answer is, but any surprise at all that he's having trouble telling the truth about where some money may be hidden and who else might have helped him with some of these crimes? No surprise at all. And what happens in these types of situations where you have plea bargains with the federal government is you have to tell the truth. And, you know, through my experience with de dealing with federal prosecutions, the first thing they do, if they feel that you are not telling the truth, if your client doesn't pass a polygraph, because sometimes that is required, is they'll pull the deal. So this is not surprising. Now, at the end of the day, the feds, they want, they want to give restitution to, these, to the victims if they can. And I think they believe that he's hiding money. They also want the names. They believe there were other attorneys involved in this. And according to a polygraph, they say that he's not telling the truth. Is that enough for a judge to look at this? Because I would imagine, and you tell me from your experience, when you go to the judge, you're going to have to present the reasons why you want to back out of this deal. They're going to show this polygraph. Is that enough? I don't think the polygraph is enough because polygraphs aren't admissible in court. Now, they're used all the time. I mean, they're used for investigation purposes all the time. They're used for treatment purposes, such as sexual offender programs all the time. But the government probably has some other evidence as well, rather than just the polygraph in order to ask to revoke this. I'm sure what the government is worried about is not only does he not want to name other attorneys, but think about it. If he is hiding some money somewhere, uh, they're wondering where could they get that so they could get it to the, to the rightful people, which are the victims in the case. Now, the final thing I want to ask is, what is the possibility now? Once they sort of back away from the initial plea deal. Um, how does the defense respond to that? You're representing him. And, and you find out that now they want the stiffest sentence possible. Do you now back out and say, well, then, you know, if that's going to be the case, let's just take this to trial. We, we have a better chance there than we do just accepting you giving us the stiffest penalty possible. Uh, that's correct. I mean, what the defense is going to say is they have nothing to lose with everything that is up against Mr. Murdoch. Forget about state appeals and everything like that. The chances of him winning those are always low. Uh, they could just say, we're just going to roll the dice. We literally have nothing to lose. I don't know if the judge is going to revoke this deal. Now, of course, I haven't seen uh, any of the paperwork, but if it's just based on this polygraph, I think the government's going to have to have more than that. Yeah, so as I was saying, so you're saying that's not necessarily a done deal. This is what the state, I mean, the feds want to do, but the, it has to be accepted by the judge, correct? Correct, that's correct.